President Kennedy and Governor John Colony have been cut down by assassin's bullets in downtown Dallas. November 22nd, 1963, the fateful day of the Kennedy assassination. This single event altered the course of history, but what if this assassination never took place? Well, we're going to find out because you're going back in time to save John F. Kennedy. You'll need the tools and knowledge to successfully accomplish your mission, and if you manage to pull it off, how will it change the timeline? This is your time mission. Stop the assassination of JFK. Before we send you off, you'll need some intel on what happened during that day in 1963. Three years into his presidency, John F. Kennedy was riding in a motorcade during a campaign visit to Dallas. It was 12.30 p.m. As the cars passed the Texas School Book Depository in Dealey Plaza, three gunshots were fired. The second and third shots hit the president in the neck and head. He was rushed to Parkland Memorial Hospital, where he was pronounced dead half an hour later. It's official now. The president is dead. The alleged assassin was Lee Harvey Oswald. Although some believe Oswald was part of a conspiracy. So I decided, oh, shit, buddy, I got to dig a little deeper. Our intel suggests otherwise, and that's why this man is your primary target. Stop him at all costs. Otherwise, your mission has failed. Get ready to travel through time, and we should warn you, if you're successful, the world will look a lot different when you come back. But we'll deal with that later. For now, we've got a murder to stop. Initiating time travel sequence. We've placed you in Dallas, Texas on November 21st, 1963. A pivotal time for a changing America. The civil rights movement is growing, the Beatles are getting big, and ice cream is made with good old-fashioned milk. None of that non-dairy stuff. We're giving you 24 hours to complete your mission. Your first task is to get the right equipment. Okay, sorry, um, listen, the guys at R&D ran into some bugs with the time machine, so we can't give you any gear. Um, you're on your own. And you'll need to look the part. We can't have you running around 1960s Dallas in 21st century clothes. Meaning, uh, you'll want to stop at the tailor and get yourself some groovy threads, dude. We recommend getting a firearm as a last resort. Your target joined the U.S. Marines in 1956 and has a reputation as a crack shot. Luckily for you, it's the 60s. Getting your hands on a gun should be pretty straightforward. The assassination of JFK was a pivotal moment for stricter gun laws in the United States. But remember, the firearm is a last resort. Killing Oswald may have irreversible effects on the timeline. Mission begin. It's the morning of November 23rd, 1963. You have the tools and intel, it's time to go. The streets are crowded, so it's easy enough to blend in. At 11.50 a.m., President Kennedy gives a speech in Love Field, Texas, and is now on his way through Dallas in his motorcade. He's going to pass Dealey Plaza. Your goal is to get inside that book depository building before it's too late. This should be easy enough, as buildings have pretty relaxed rules. It's the lunch break, and all the employees from the sixth floor are on the fifth floor watching the parade. You need to figure out how to make it to the sixth floor, because that's where Oswald is. And he's alone. Data shows that your target has special access to that floor because he's been working at the store since September. You need to find an alternate entrance or bust down the door. You've got to ambush Oswald. Proceed with caution. A single wrong move could abort the mission. Oswald is waiting for the perfect moment to strike. To avoid the president being assassinated, you need to distract Oswald. You run up and grab him. As you do, he pulls the trigger and fires his first shot. It misses. The presidential motorcade hears this shot and speeds away. Now, you and Lee Harvey Oswald are tussling. Uh, you managed to get the upper hand and subdue him. 
Congratulations! You've saved the president without firing a shot. This is going to look good. Mission complete. Initiating time travel sequence. Okay, you've made it back to the modern day and it's time to see how you've changed history. Well, it's possible that the Civil Rights Act of 1964 wouldn't have become law if the assassination hadn't happened. The law prohibited discrimination based on race, color, religion, or sex. Kennedy may have delayed this until after his next election. His successor, Lyndon B. Johnson, pushed ahead. Could your mission have changed the Vietnam War? Some historians say if re-elected, Kennedy would have pulled troops out of combat. And your mission could also have impacted the Cold War. After the Cuban Missile Crisis, Kennedy pushed for a limited ban on nuclear weapons. He wanted to work with the Soviets and ease tensions. And with that, the space race could have looked very different. We may have had a joint space program. And that's where your next mission comes in. We're sending you back in time again to become the first human on the moon. <laughs> it won't be easy, but we think you're up for it. So strap in and get ready for another time mission. <laughs>